Hello, and thank you for joining us. In this presentation, we're going to be talking about contract creation, review, approval, and signature. So you're probably wondering, should I be watching this video? So here's a couple of questions to help you get to that answer. Do you use Salesforce? Do you need to create contracts? Do these contracts need to be reviewed, approved, and signed? Well, if you answered yes to any of these questions, it probably makes sense to watch this video. So let's get started. Here we are in Salesforce, and of course we want to create a new contract. We're at the MSI Financial account, and we'll go down to Contracts and click New. Now we can create an NDA, an MNDA, or an MSA. In this case, we want to create a non-disclosure agreement, so we'll simply click Next. Of course, the account name is already selected. The contract type is there. Status is draft. Reviewers will be Adam Storch. I'll come up to a start date. We'll set up a start date of August 1st. This will be a 12-month NDA, and we're going to want a 30-day expiration notification. I'll scroll down. Customer signing, we want to have Jason DeJolly sign it. And then on the company side, we'll do Adam Storch. And of course, I'll hit Save. Since I was set up as a reviewer for this NDA, I receive a notification in my inbox to me, Adam Storch, and here's all the information about the NDA, so you can get a quick view of the particulars for this NDA. And of course, down here I've got who the signatory is. For purpose of the demo, I used my address for Jason. And then of course, if I want to view the contract, I simply click this link. And here, of course, is that NDA. And make it a little bigger for you. You'll notice that all the information was included in it. It's already have the information dropped in it between MicroStrategies and MSI Financial. As I scroll down, you'll notice other inserts, such as recipient MSI Financial, signed by Jason DeJolly. So in other words, the appropriate data has been put in there. If I go over here to Information or Details, you'll notice if I scroll down, all the metadata is in there. So I'll be able to search this later. Owner, account, contract end date, contract start date. There's a current status, notification, and so forth. So you've got all the appropriate information or metadata there for you to be able to review as well. So from here, I'll go back to my notification. And my options are at this point to reject or approve. I'm going to hit approve. So I simply hit reply and then type approve and hit send. And now the contract is off for signatory. As the submitter, of course, I receive a notification that this particular request has been approved. And of course, it's got my MSI Financial, which is the account. And then it also has the unique identifier that was generated for this NDA. But again, it has been approved and sent for signatory, so I receive this nice notification to let me know that. And of course, since I was the signatory for this particular contract, I receive a notification from DocuSign automatically to let me know it's time to sign my document. So I hit Review Document. And I'll continue. And if I scroll down, I need to put my signature on there, so I'll add my signature right here. My document is now signed, and I simply hit Finish. Here we are back at Box in our MSI Financial folder. And for this particular NDA, you'll notice we've got that original piece. But this time, what this is telling us is this is the activated contract. If I scroll down to the minute, activated right now. So that's our, our live contract. And of course, as you'd expect, I've got the signed copy right here. So I click on this and scroll down. There are the two signatures for Adam Storage and for Jason Jolly. And of course, also very critical, we have a summary of what happened. So here's the audit trail of exactly what happened and when. So we know exactly who signed it, when they signed it, and from where they signed it. So what did you learn? Well, you learned that you can create your contracts from inside Salesforce. You learned that contract templates contracts in review, and executed contracts can all be managed from inside Box. You also learned that the review, 
approval, and digital signing can be completed in an automated workflow. So what are your next steps? Well, it's time to reach out to MicroStrategies so we can help you like we help our other clients.